Hi all, I'm going to show you now a game that I played yesterday uh, at the club and I actually needed to win this game in order to have a chance to uh, end on the first place of the club championship but unfortunately I uh, didn't succeed in this uh, the, the game ended in a draw and that means that I'll become second um, but anyway, the second place I'm very happy with that as well. So let's have a look at the game now because I, f I found it actually very interesting that um, it became clear to me what um, a, a weakness is in my play. I played the paired defense and my opponent chose for the Austrian attack with f4 and after knight f3 w black has two options here, castling and uh, the other one is uh, c5. I chose for c5 that has some similarities with the um, Sicilian Dragon Defense and White played here e5 immediately it's a move that is not very common um, to other moves we see a lot more and that is taking on c5 and the other one is a bishop to b5 check and bishop to b5 check leads to very sharp um, play and the move e5 is actually not very common now I didn't remember what the theory said about this move um, so I took on e5 he took with the f pawn and here I played knight to d5 and I had a look at the theory and it says that actually knight to g4 is much better um, since then still black keeps uh, threatening to take here and then attack this e5 pawn so after knight g4 bishop b5 check would be a logical continuation knight to c6 d5 and here a6 is the only way to not to lose pawn not to lose a piece I mean and then take take but well uh, I didn't see this 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 and I didn't remember actually the this knight g4 uh, continuation. So in the game, I'll go back to the position now. I played knight to d5, and my opponent played the bishop to c4, which is a very logical move in the sense that it's directed to f7. And later, after castling, he will have this rook on the f line, the f file. I took on c3, he took back, castle, castle, and now bishop to g4, pinning the knight. Rook b1 was played. I thought for quite a long time here, and um, I thought first at all, at all possibilities of uh, defending this pawn on b7, by queen to c7, for example, or queen c8. But actually, I suddenly realized that it's actually not needed to defend it right now because I can play knight to c6, and here uh, white cannot take on b7 because if he takes, then knight a5 with the fork and winning material. So that's why knight to c6 was a good move and my opponent continued with bishop to e3. And now here actually um, I thought that queen to a5 was a very strong move. It is not a bad move but the um, thing is that I find interesting is actually that this move was based on a misunderstanding. Um, I calculated wrongly the uh, possible continuation. I thought that I would win a pawn later in the game. I'll show you what happened. Queen to e1 and in my visualization, in my calculation of the variations, I thought I can take here and after take I can take on d4 and if it takes back I can take the queen and after he takes I thought that rook a to d8 white would be forced to play rook to d1 and then I can take on e5 winning a pawn but this is actually ridiculous because after rook a oh, I'm sorry after uh, rook a to d8 he still has c3 very simple move and this is this move c3 I didn't see it at the moment that I played queen to a5 so in this position here I played queen to a5 thinking that 
this variation would win a pawn but I didn't realize that after take take the move c3 is still in the game so this is actually um, a weakness in my um, in my play that sometimes I'm not uh, able to, to visualize the positions after a few moves correctly but well this this happens to to many people and it's something that can be trained and I'm definitely going to do that so actually here I realized suddenly that this c3 move was there so I had to think for an alternative here and I decided to take anyway the queen and then play knight to b4 c3 was played knight to c2 rook went to f1 and here I took on e3 and we got this ending with uh, opposite color bishops that has a, a very big uh, chances for, uh, for for drawing and a better move actually would have been rook a to c8 I discovered this move just this morning uh, I didn't think about it during the game um, but it's, it's a very it, it, it gives more chances because you don't need to exchange this knight for the bishop for dark square bishop but let me show you the rest of the game I took here he took I played a6 to play b5 I'm actually a bit concerned about his uh, central pawns that could advance so I wanted to play b5 to prevent the c pawn from advancing here he played a4 I played e6 rook b1 attacking the b7 pawn rook a to b8 rook to b6 and now rook to c8 attacking the bishop bishop went to e2 and I play here rook to c6 and this loses a pawn after rook takes, rook takes, bishop takes now rook to a8 is wrong because of bishop b7 and then if I take here he takes this one so that means that I will be losing a pawn and this uh, c pawn can become dangerous if it advances but in the game actually luckily for me my opponent made a little mistake after I'll go back to this position he took I took back he took here and I played an a move just in between bishop to h6 and here he made the mistake that he played rook to e2 and now the pawn on c three is undefended and that means that I can simply attack the bishop if he goes here I take he had to defend this one because now if he takes this the difference with the variation before is that now I have rook to c4 and the bishop is attacked and then I will take on c3 so that's why rook to e2 was a wrong move better would have been rook f3 or rook h3 um, but again to the game bishop with 3 check king of 1 and now c5 and actually here we have already uh, more or less a draw ending a few moves later here I offered him a draw because it's a, it's a totally equal uh, end game um, alright well I hope you enjoyed the video anyway and um, I'll see you next time on YouTube thanks